the competition committee is meeting in New York. Is that what they're meeting, or are they usually no, or down in Florida? Here. They're in New York. Okay. They're here oh, in, in Indianapolis. Indi okay. They're here in Indianapolis, and um, then they have a meeting because they don't usually meet in bad spots. Then they go to Naples, Florida That's in a few weeks. Okay. Sure. And then they go to the owners' meeting, the big league meeting, at the end of the month. So, end of March. what are you what are you hearing about their discussions that could actually become placed before the membership for a vote with a chance to pass? How about that? Threading that needle, well, Judy. Well, the catch rule. Uh, you know something's going to happen with the catch rule because Roger Goodell says he wants something to happen with the catch rule. Uh, so something's going to happen. From talking to them yesterday, it sounds like they're going to look at eliminating the part about going to the ground, which is, you know, basically you have to hold the ball, not just going to the ground, but completing going to the ground. And um, it looks like that's going to be eliminated. And even though that affects like a handful of plays a year, it's the handful of plays we all end up talking about and debating. I mean, it is the Des Bryant non-catch. It's the Calvin Johnson play. It's the Jesse James uh, from the Steelers this year against the Patriots touchdown that was negated. So it looks like if there's a tweak, it's going to be that. Well, do you know what the language would be? That what what what? No, would... that's not done yet. Huh? They are. Uh, this is this is where they start the process. They look at a lot of film and they talk for a lot of hours about what they're going to do. Then they go to Naples at that meeting and they really firm up what they're going to do, and then they present it to the ownership for a vote at the end of the uh, month in March at the big league meeting. But essentially the rule would stay the same except for taking out the uh, going to the ground where you have to sort of complete going to the ground with the ball intact. So think of what Des Bryant did in that playoff game, and that would be a catch instead of a non-catch. So it would be a fumble? Is that what it would be? Because he did not cross the be, plane. Uh, huh. No, that would be a catch um, because he had control of the ball and he went down with it. But remember, he they said the ball moved. He lost control of the ball after he hit the ground. So it would be it would be that, it would be similar would been, to a fumble that a, a, the ground can't cause a fumble in a catch in the same way the ground can't cause a fumble when you're taken down to the ground as a runner. So you're, that, that's the that's, a, what, that's the issue is what is the language to make right. Des Bryant a right. runner as opposed to somebody who's trying to complete the process, right? Right. I mean, that is What's the, the question language? of how they're going to do the language. And that has always, you know, from covering the competition committee for years, and I'm sure you know this from talking to people in the league too, it's really complicated to do the language because whenever they tinker with the language, it creates unintended consequences that then they have to deal with like next year. Tell me about so, it. That's, uh, that's uh, the it, words, right? the, the tuck rule come right, right. I mean, that's right. it right there. Right. So this is uh, like the competition committee dreads this every <laughs> year. Like I talked to a member of the competition committee after Roger Goodell said he wanted something done with the catch rule. And I said, oh, you're looking forward to that? And the person responded, ugh. So uh. that's, they dread this. They know that by... Uh, tweaking one thing, they could be opening a can of worms on the other. Here's an example that somebody gave me. Mm -hmm. If you go to like, you know, you have to just have two feet down and that makes you, uh, that makes it a reception. They said that opens on the other side problems with like uh, changing the defenseless receiver rule, which is something that they don't want to do because they don't want to weaken protections for a defenseless receiver. So those are the kinds of things they have to consider, all of the unintended consequences when they go in and change the language. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.